You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. So we're joined with Sue Petos from the Swan Arts Forum. We often talk to Sue about different art events happening in Swan. We're going to be talking to her all about artists in the woods. But uh, Sue, firstly, of course, welcome along. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you very much for inviting me. I was wondering if you could refresh our listeners perhaps a little bit about the Swan Arts Forum firstly. Yeah, um, right. The Swan Arts Forum has been running officially now for six years. Um, I've been chair for three. It comes up for renewal in August, um, so we'll see what happens next year. Um, And for the past three years, it has been run for artists by artists. And we've been working really hard with different groups to um, up the membership. We now have 42 paid up members. And these are from arts organisations across the borough. So that includes, that's definitely Sheppey. Uh, Sittingbourne and Faversham and we have a wide cross-section from uh, performing artists, visual artists, creative writing and so we represent the bigger groups And but we also have a lot of individual artists and we've worked really hard as I said for the past three years to try and develop and promote arts in this area because we have amazing talent and there is loads of stuff happening but um, we always say it's like we're very hidden, we have fantastic yep. hidden treasures in the area and the artists are definitely hidden um, and we're trying to get them out of the woodwork and get them out into the public eye to um, do events. Now so the Swell Arts Forum and the Friends of All Gunpowder Works are working together um, to put on Artists in the Woods this year. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, the Artists in the Woods has actually been going now. This is our fourth year. I can't believe that. Um, it started um, four years ago, obviously. And then we, I've, I was volunteering with the Friends Group. And they're a fantastic voluntary organisation that help uh, keep all Gunpowder Works Country Park clean. They do lots of conservation work there. They keep the, the paths and um, tree management and woodland management there. Uh, they meet the second Sunday of every month uh, so they're actually meeting um, on the, the the day of the event which is July the 8th and um, yeah we sort of had this uh, fantastic idea that art- it would be lovely to have artists in the woods um, so that's where the title comes from it's very obvious and uh, it's, a, it's an artist led event so that means that the artists are there they're doing work and uh, demoing things, showcasing what they do. And it's very environmentally friendly because the, wo- the woods are, s- are quite magical and beautiful because you actually show work there, don't you, Daniel? Yes, yeah. <laughs> and it, was a, it was a lovely day last year. Yes, I was going to say that it's a lovely place to, to walk round um, and the idea is that while you're walking around, you get to see um, artists making and their work as well. Yeah, that was, that was always the idea that it was sort of you would come across artists just sort of doing things and uh, it, it's really worked. And as I said, from the first year we did it, I think there was probably only about eight of us there. Um, and it was something that the artists wanted to do. But it, it's grown. This year we've got uh, 27 different artists there. And the amazing, really good thing is that there's a local group called Los Salvadors. You've oh, interviewed yeah. them. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're a brilliant young folk group. And they play acoustic. And then what they've been doing for the past year is they set up a um, promotion company. So they're actually dealing with a lot of young um Kent folk acoustic groups now and they're doing lots of tours around the area and they're bringing with them five other bands so right. this year we have six folk groups that will be touring the park at different on different stages we've so, they, we say stages but they're basically a bit of ground that's been cleared and they will be sort of moving around the park which actually I think is and they've organized all that by themselves so we're really grateful to them we are at the moment talking to Sue Petos and we're talking all about this year's Artists in the Woods. We are at the moment talking to Sue Petos from the Swan Arts Forum and we're talking to her all about Artists in the Woods. Uh, Sue, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the artists that are going to be there on the day. Yeah, as I said earlier, we have 27 artists this year, which is the most we've ever had. In fact, we've actually got 32 if you include the different groups. 
Um, they vary widely. We have well, the Wandering Poets, which are um, brilliant people. They, they've, most of them come from Sheppey, and they'll be wandering around reciting things to trees or people, depends what mood they're in. Um, we also got Big Fish. Everybody yep. knows Big Fish. So they're, and they're, they will look... They, they look fantastic in the woods because they have their green costumes on. Um, we've got... Uh, there's some children's things happening this year as well. Litter Angels will be there um, doing making wood wands. Um, I think we're going to be... We've got badge-making machines, face-painting. Um, there's treasure hunts there. Um, there will be... There's lots of sculptors there, including yourself, because you're bringing your... Yes, yeah. Work, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got some metalwork people, stone carving people, woodwork people. There's also going to be um, products for sale. Everything there is made in Swale because the whole, all the artists there are all from Swale as well. It's about promoting the talent that we've got here and um, sh- showcasing like the venue as well because that is a beautiful place. Um, it's all free apart from car parking this year we are charging people to park their cars so it's a pound for car parking and we're also selling a program um the program will be a map of the area because we've taken on board what people have mentioned in the past and they've um mentioned the fact that the park is although it's very easy access there's lots of different paths on there so it's very easy for people of all ages and um like there's there's a wheelchair path as well which is beautifully um chipped so you can get there push chairs and that from what i remember it was color coded and there's a series yeah, of different routes that yes, are color coded. there is and there is um we will put lots of arrows around the park as well so people and we've got the um emu marshals from the yep. island coming over so they they'll be there as well showing hopefully pointing people so they can get round the park a bit more because there is an area above um, the visitors centre called the test range and up there there will be a there's a staging area and we've got um, Nick Stewart who's a um, wood carver he'll be up there and Val Tyler she'll be doing um, card readings and things um, Dana Goodrum Brown who you might know from the CSI project right. she's coming up there to do some workshops and we've got a young girl who's a photographer so they'll be all up there um, and other people sometimes turn up on the day um, Around, we've also got Nickel, ba- um, Nickel Books from Sittingbourne right. um, Andrea Don, she's going to be storytelling in the afternoon so that would be lovely for um, adults and children if you want to sit, sit around the picnic area one of the picnic areas there um, she'll be there storytelling um, we've got artists just sort of scribbling and painting around um, that's Ken Rolls and Mark Thatcher um, who else would be there The Julie Bradshaw she'll be doing some installation work I think um, in the park and there's also obviously there's going to be information stands the Swell Arts Forum will be there and uh, with members information so uh, that you'll be able to see the sort of the diversity of the artists that actually are in this area um, the friends group will be there trying to get people to volunteer in the park because um, we all need to sort of look after some of these um, amazing yeah. venues that we have um, um, tr- oh and the, we have a real coup this year as well we've got angelic feasts um, right. supplying doing the food she is an amazing lady she does some really beautiful food and I say beautiful because it looks absolutely delicious and it's all f- local produce um, organic and she'll be in the car park area so that's available with some refreshments and that obviously you buy them but they are very reasonable and i'm hoping that she'll bring her famous glitter cakes with her because she sells these beautiful little cakes which are covered in glitter so that'd be lovely um yeah it's just like there's loads happening and as i said the music this year we've got um apart from uh los salvadors and the gum the the promotion group is actually called the gunpowder works right um there's gonna be tell tyler he's a, a guitarist um so he'll be strumming around the woods um and there's swell sings which oh, is yeah, the yeah. community uh choir that do world music and it's it's sort of so that's they're really good at getting people like moving uh yeah and this is all going to be on a program that will be available um on for sale on the day so that's a pound 
So. Uh, so before you go, I was just wondering if you could refresh our listeners of any useful contact details where they can find out more. And of course, uh, refresh them when the actual day is on. Yeah, it's July the Sunday, July the eighth, and it's from ten till four. Uh, as I said, it's free to to come in um, there's, um, in the park. But if you do bring your car, we're charging a pound, and there is a program available which is a pound. Um, and there's loads of stuff for sale there, so bring some money. Um, dogs are very welcome. Um, but please keep them on the leads and clear up after you. So that is one of the big things um, with the park, is clearing up dogs and any litter. We ask that people do not litter because it's a beautiful area. There's lots of bins and things there. Um, and all the details at the moment are on the swalearsforum.org site. There is a list on the left, on the right-hand side of the page, and if you click on there, you can see um, it will be changing all the time at the moment um, when the acts are finally booked in um because we there might be a few more people in the next few days but at the moment um as i said we've got 27 acts and yes it's going to be a brilliant day so i'd like to thank you very much for coming along and telling us all about this year's artists in the woods thank you daniel it's always a pleasure